answering more of your questions with Bruce Fenton, definitely check out Facebook and like him on Facebook, but you probably already have if you're asking a question, aren't you? Anyways, here with Bruce Fenton answering your questions on Facebook. Next up, Joshua Fulford says, and these are his words, why the hell are they not talking about H.R. 129 in Congress? 21st century glass stigal, anyone, question mark. Now, www, exclamation point. It's like he's really exclaiming. He's so like, he's saying now. now. Like, I want it now. He's not saying now. He's saying he wants it now. Well, what does he want to know about Steven Seagal? I, I don't, that's Glass what, Stiegel. Stiegel. Oh, not sorry. Seagal. All right. He's a good martial artist, by the way. I know. I saw the movies. No, he is good. For real. Yeah, he's good. There's actors, and they, he's actually talented. He's he would be mm -hmm. too senseless. Anyway, Jason, Jason Statham. Is he good, too? Uh, Steven Seagal was a master. I'm I mean, talking about Jason Statham. Is he a he, kung fu he's, guy? He's, he's probably pretty tough, but I don't think he's in Steven Seagal's like. You can, don't confuse actors with martial arts. Well, Seagal's ability. like 60, so I don't even want to fight him. I, I, get I know guys that are 60 who, who are tough as can be. I'm not saying I All can't right. lose. Oh, sorry. Question right. I have. All right. The Seagal thing. Go ahead. Glass Stiegel. Stiegel. So you I that. think that what the question is, is I, I think you're supporting it. It sounds like you want it now. Um, and if so, I appreciate the question, but i got to disagree with you. Glass Siegel, uh, for those of you who don't know, was a law which basically separated banks and brokerage firms and banks and investment firms. It was repealed. Many people, and this is, if you do support it, this is probably where you're getting at, many people felt that because it was repealed, that allowed banks and brokerages to do all kinds of wild, crazy things that used to be prevented by law, and that's what caused the financial meltdown. Not exactly true. What caused the financial meltdown was all kinds of issues. One was way over aggressive, very, very highly leveraged borrowing. And uh, these kind of things happen in a, in a normal market cycle. Um, and any kind of boom and bust, people and companies do crazy things and they get more and more aggressive. And somebody eventually, you know, that's what happens in real estate bubbles, dot com bubble, and everything. What do you think those people are above the law? Well, why, why would you need a law for, against doing something stupid? If you lose all your money, then you learned a lesson. Now, here's the problem, and here's what I'm really against. You know what happened to those companies that did what really happened? crazy, uh, uh, risky, stupid things? Did they go out of business? No. No. We gave them billions and billions of dollars in bonus bailouts. So they paid their executives huge bonuses to the tune of billions of dollars, and we took that money from taxpayers instead of letting these companies go out of business. I mean, if, if I invent uh, onion-flavored ice cream, okay. say, I'm forgetting, I'm it, but go ahead. listen, I'm forgetting this global economy business thing, I'm forgetting my consulting and investment business, uh, I'm going and I'm going to make onion-flavored ice cream. And I fail at that. What do you think is the right thing for government to do? Do you, do you think that you should just not bother with the onion flavored ice cream or should you go to citizens and say give me more money so we can give Bruce money and then I go buy myself a yacht? No. No, I don't think so at all. I, I mean, Stupid decisions. Onion flavored ice cream is not a good business decision. No, I mean, that, Would that you is eat definitely it? No. not hard to kill, that idea. All right. Onion flavored ice cream, not a good, a good no. decision. Buying a house in Fresno, California that's worth 200000 spending 400000 and then borrowing $14 million on that house, not a good business decision. No. Worse. Definitely marked for death, yeah. Worse than onion flavored ice cream. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. So... What they did, these, these companies and people did astronomically stupid things, borrowed crazy, oh, that, that example's real, by the way. I mean, that, that's basically, if you crunch out the numbers, that's pretty representative of the, tra of the transactions. Yeah. They're borrowing 20 times to one, 50 times to one on, on these uh, properties, which were way overvalued anyway, and, and even selling for more than what they should. They had people who didn't even have jobs buying these houses, and then borrowing it, you know, 50 times worth. You know, more than it was worth. Oh, the mortgage so, crisis is definitely That's what subprime debt was. Yeah. So they borrowed all this crazy money and it collapsed. Now, um, would Glass Steagall have prevented that? C kind of, sort of, not really, but who cares? It's not the government's place to, to legislate against stupidity. What the government should do is let get out of it. There was a lot of stupid companies created in the dot com uh, bubble, all kinds of bubbles. People and companies do stupid things. The role of government is to let them rise or fall or fail or succeed on their own merits. Certainly not to take money from the productive people that have done a good job and give it to them. Yeah. And that's what we did. We gave them these TARP bailouts. So um, if you support Glass-Steagall and you think that it's going to solve these problems, it's not. And by the way, the new version, this uh, HR 129, the 
you know, save the world, make banking great act. Who do you think writes these rules? Same as the people who write the the uh, health care legislation. These, these rules, trust me, I'm in the investment business, I'm in banking. We write this stuff, our industry, I don't mean we as in me, I'm a little bit unusual in my industry, but our industry is the one who writes this. So whenever you think you're, you're going to protect the people and everything, it's not the people writing this, it's the special interests, usually the ones you're trying to protect against. So for every you know, bad bank that you dislike, if you really dislike these groups, you want less regulation, less legislation, and that will bring about more competition. You have less, co less uh, regulation of barriers to entry, you have more people competing. And then the next Mark Zuckerberg or the next uh, genius whiz will come along and create a better business model. Then they'll put these banks out of business. That's what will accomplish, I think, what you're probably looking at if, you, if you're uh, trying to accomplish with with passing this, this legislation, which wouldn't have been good, wouldn't have solved the problem, wouldn't have been any better than what we had before. No Glass-Steagall, no new Glass-Steagall. That's not what we need. We need more freedom. Thanks, Joshua.